Good afternoon, my friend. Today is a date. It's October 5. And it's time for me to, up to upgrade my backyard garden. So you can see how they do in the month of October. So we're going to start from my side of my house. Uh, this green flowers right here is called Sampaguita, native to the Philippines. And we're going to move from this violet. They call this violeta also in the Philippines. I don't know where they started from this one, but I would like to show you the result of too much seed and now we are in fall season. This green leaves right here in the, in the bottom is called basil. Oh no, it's called mint. I have a lot of mint because they said it's going to push away the rot when they came because of the aroma that they acquire. And there is one eggplant grows in this side also. And almost every four days, they give me a lot of maybe two or three vegetable eggplant. And now we're going to see what's going on with my succulent garden collection. Since it is going to be fall, the leaves of this started to green and started to grow. And the succulent right here on the top, they still continue to bloom. Now from this month to the February or March, you're gonna see my succulent gonna change some color. You can see that the color will be reddish, orange, blue, and green because of the cold weather. But since we are still in the beginning of fall, they are not showing us yet. This area is uh, shaded, growing because of my uh, jujube fruits. Now that is being trimmed by our maintenance. So they grow really good in this area. I don't really take care of them the way I used to be because, well, if they grow, they grow. If they don't, it's all right. But as I told you, the succulent doesn't really need full attention. Uh, please don't ask me the name of each one of them because I'm not really... I don't know their name. The nursery I went to is not really uh, interested of the name of each one of them because they have no names. Look at that. They, they are so very pretty right now. Sometimes you can see the fruits, just like this one, the, the brown or burgundy fruits that you see is a dried fruits of jujube. And since they're too far from me, I cannot reach to take this out. And here is another eggplant that grows under my jujube and some flowers of senior.
Now the, I don't know what's the name of this. Maybe this is a string of banana, but it is purple right here and hanging under jujube. And now they're blooming. The bloom is very little, very tiny. But they're adorable. And in the side of this pot is more on, oh, look at this. I don't know who's eating on that one, but it's right there is another senior that's blooming. And this one is called uh, Amaryllis. Now we're going to another um, hanging succulent that I put here under cherry tree. S this plant, this succulent is really heavy when you lift them up. I don't know, I think you need somebody because it's really heavy and I have another one right here that is growing also it takes time for them to recover and rooted and this is my hydrangea and now there's another one the three of them and this succulents is showing the beautiful growth because fall is coming uh, no it's already fall now we're going to this side I have another succulent that is potted and I put in the ground and here is the hanging one there and if you're gonna see I put this one here on the top of my bridge hydrangea is here string of pearl is here too they are in Paulson and this is a jade tree different kind of jade tree and here is another one well I also plant some succulent in the ground right here in my circle so this succulent, they can really survive during winter. And if you're gonna see, there is some, um, there are some malinga that's growing in my garden. And the other day, I harvested four leaves of that one. Now I would like to show you the pomegranate I have. If you're gonna see, they're almost, uh, this one is almost, because you can tell if the crown right there is no longer green, and they have a lot 
super super big fruits of my succulent Panos. No, this is not succulent. Oh my pomegranate. Look at this. So big. I had to come here and show you how huge is this one. Look at this. And they are not really ready yet. And here can you imagine this is very big and the trunk is really small and here is wow it's so big the two of them is really big well also not only that one I have to show you my oranges which is full of fruits is not ready look at that this is a um, mandarin orange too many citrus in my garden here is my hanging succulent here and also here and i have that one queen of the night and here and some of my Orchids is also here under the tree, but by the month, the end of October, I will transfer them in the pergola. So, look at this. It's spiking. That's a spike. They're about to bloom again. Oh boy, even this one. Look at that here, in the bottom, it's spiking, so, all right, and I cannot, I have no time right now to walk with you along with my, I can't walk with you and talk to you one by one about these plants I have, but let me just show you. Pomegranate, ah, no, it's not pomegranate. This is a persimmon. Look at the persimmon, it's already ripe. Wow, it's really good. And the tree is bending forward because they cannot carry their fruits. Look, They are really big and I need to climb this because I want to get the one on the top. The bird has been eating it. Okay, my friend, this is all the overall update of my garden. And my orchids will be next time. Thank you so much for your time. And... Have a nice day. Bye-bye.